Okay, insert the metal wire into the keyhole. Picked up the key from underneath the door. Living room key. Is this the living room? Okay. Hello? Got some matches, good. I'll just sit in this chair and just wait out the shit now. A few pieces of paper were carelessly tied together. There were messy scribbles on them. It's Bubsy. Pups and Boots. There lived an ordinary family long, long time ago. When the father passed away, he left behind a house to his children. I'm in, a, I'm in a kind of a similar situation. Except it's my uncle, I think. He he left the mill to the eldest and the mule to the second oldest. The youngest was left nothing but the cat in the farm. I guess I can only skin you and take your fur to the market. The youngest had run out of money. Hmm. The cat spoke hastily when it heard those words. Please don't do that. I'll repay you in kind if you show me kindness and give me a pair of shoes. The youngest was curious and so begged a pair of old boots off a passing cobbler. The cat, now shod in boots, followed the youngest to town. The townkeeper refused to open the door when it started to rain at night. Crunch, 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 crunch. The cat in boots ate the town keeper. The youngest changed into warm clothes and spent the night in comfort. Oh, that was really nice of him. The writing trailed off at the edge of the paper. What is this? Don't eat me. <laughs> huh. Well, cool. The tea was still warm. That cat was enjoying some fucking tea. There was a note in the photo. Hello. Read that note in a second. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that was a save point. I think that's next to me. Shit. I thought I could... I thought this was just a note. She gave herself to the cat. Mouse is still hungry. I could go out and eat other people. Fuck! Ow. Fucker. I want to do that again. Riddles for children. Mary was an apple girl. Okay, that rat's day where it's at. Mary was an apple girl. She was going to give an apple to her hungry cat at home. It bumped into a starving mouse along the way. Although she really wanted to give the apple to the cat, she couldn't let the mouse stay hungry. What should she do? Split it in two. She split herself... She split herself into two? That way both of them could eat. I like how when I die, I get spawned here. Back to title. Load. So that's a fucking tra- hold on. I gotta- I gotta see what happens if she just gives it to the mouse. The mouse ate Mary. The cat ate the mouse. You ate the cat. Everyone was full. Good. The bottom drawer opened. There was a beautiful golden key inside, but upon further inspection, there was a thick coat of paint on the metal. So it's not gold. Also, fuck that mouse. Gold key with a thick layer of paint on it. Uh, a note with characters drawn on it. Uh, a, B, C, K. All right, if I rem the colors are going to mean something, I think. Well, that's going to come into play at some point. 
an empty hook. Strange cloth doll. Cannot recall since when she was holding it. But I have it. Excuse me, I'm just trying to see if any of these go on this hook. You never know. Second brother. Oh, okay. Big brother, second brother, and then the youngest. I gotta find like a picture frame. Who is that person? Who? Who, who is that person? Just an old man. Fuck that mouse. Piece of paper is unfolded, laid out in books and both shelves, its edges were yellowed. Fuck that mouse. I don't like it that it's moving during a scene in which I'm reading shit. Uh yeah, kitchen, dining room, living room. That's hell, but never mind. Thank you for the map. Golem. Golem means an unformed being, or baby in Hebrew, the language of the Jews. Uh, Kabbalah puts forth the notion that power is instilled in all letters, words, and numbers. Mankind would be as gods and create animals and other life if they harness this power. For a second, I thought it was going to be like a hint. But no... Yeah, I'm constantly saving, I know. You'll you'll get over it. Uh but yeah, that cat if I remember the hint right, that cat gives us clues. Key on the floor. Thank you. A key that had fallen onto the floor labeled left on the first door. I feel like going this way real quick, just to see. Hoof print. Fuck this. Alright, nothing. Alright, we have a golden key, we have a hint. Or something. I want to check a few things actually real quick. Alright, let's see here. Alright, we opened up this key. <laughs> we opened up the door with the key. Excuse me. I'm nervous. It was locked. A sparkling exterior shines but for a moment. Only internal beauty will endure throughout the ages. Read the door label. Read the door label. Fuck those rats. Or mice, whatever. Oh, a piece of candy. Literally. Oops. That thing looks pretty cool, actually. <laughs> yeah, no, I've, I've eaten enough chocolate. Queen. It was locked. More matches. I gotta start trying uh, this golden key on some doors. Fuck you. I like how, like, yeah, matches are a priority, or else you're gonna run into these rats that are jerks. Had night already fallen? Bullshit. No, that key doesn't go. Okay, but there's something important here. There has to be. Yes, I know it's locked. Nope, nothing. Um. This key is too big and thick. Huh, well it... Okay, this key seems to go for that door, but I have to somehow... unthick this key, I don't know. 
There must be somewhere where I can use the key to, like, clean it or something. I don't know. Wait a minute. Wait, go in? Yes. Alright. Yeah, because this map was talking, uh... I don't know, like, I thought I had to insert the eye here, but... I forgot we can go in here. We're probably gonna die, aren't we? Oh, what is... What is it? It's locked. A wily staring eye was carved on top of the keyhole. God damn it. Man, come on. <sighs> Fine. I'll come back later when I figure out what I'm supposed to fucking do. The liquid bubbled in froth. It looked quite dangerous. It can melt anything. Dunk the key inside. Yes, please. Got an iron key. Okay, that's what I was supposed to do. Uh, so let's save, and we're going to go back to that door that I'm pretty sure this key is for. Good shit. So far, this game is is okay so far. Um, those complaints about the puzzles being kind of hard, so far has not been that bad. All right, open the key. What bull... The bullshit is inside. Ooh. The ink spilled all over the table and all the colors mixed together. Do we not want that? The old piece of paper was spread out. It seemed to be the map. I'm not even... Well, okay. Marguerite's room... The gallery, but yeah, my room, right? But there's no like secret passageways, though. Okay. Ooh, okay, wait a minute. I see, I think. Ink spilled over the table, clothes mixed together. Uh,. Well. Oh, okay. I didn't see this. Oh, okay. Is that... <laughs> wow, is it that simple? Well, wait, but then... Is that simple? But then... Well, like, okay, so yellow... Uh, here's the thing. Okay, K and 4 are the same color. C and 3 are the same color. B, A, you know, 1 and 2 are not the same color. So, should I count A and B as zero? Because they're not the right color? Alright guys, so just as I thought, I looked up the answer, but I realized, like, what you're supposed to do is, um... You see, so yeah, A and B... It's not about what numbers are under them, because, like, yeah, C, yellow is three, or, sorry. C represents yellow, yellow is, you know, three. So, yeah, yeah, but, like, okay, so B and C. Excuse me. B and C make green, so the first number is two. And, yeah, it makes sense now, because, like, every time you put K in there, it's always going to end up being black. And then A and B... Um, 
A and B makes purple, so it's one. So it's two, four, four, one. So that makes sense. All right. I knew it had to be something like that, but I just couldn't really figure it out. So yeah, small key. Cool beans. French doors in the bedroom. In my bedroom? Okay, so let's save. And we did not finish exploring this area yet. Look at that art. The youngest fell in love with the prince warbling outside the window. But the town castle doors were locked and guarded by a monster. Oh, that's the cat. Okay. I was like, what's that weird-ass sprite? Okay, well now the cat's following me. And we got a clock. Okay, and yeah, it, it makes... That one door wanted it like the opening hours were four, right? So that's what we need to do. Or put it. Uh, is there nothing else in here that we need? I sure hope not. I want to explore every room thoroughly so I never have to come back in here. Because this place could be kind of huge. But yeah, it, okay, that whole puzzle made sense. But I just couldn't really figure it out. I couldn't put two and two together. Oh well. It followed her. It seemed to scare off the mice. Fuck yeah. Why is the gongs? Why is the clock going? Um. Yeah, I wanted to see if I could eat any more chocolate. The cat moved. <laughs> Don't know why. Yeah, it did scare off the mice, didn't it? Cool. Um, right, so where was that door again? I think it was... Yeah, fuck those mice. Or wait, was it over here? Hopefully it's not cooperated. No. Who's there? The hole suddenly flipped open. It was a child's voice. Someone is... Running footsteps sounded behind the door before she could finish. The door was still locked. Oh fuck. The door simply opened, revealing nothing but darkness. Who's there? That's what I wanted to ask. Despite thinking that Elizabeth still responded, I'm Elizabeth, excuse me. I'm the Elizabeth. Hello? Who is it? Two other voices that sound exactly the same rang out. She said, I came in here by accident. Do you? Weird people can't come in. I'll have you know I'm not weird at all. Who is it? Can't come in. And the voice chimed in. We're having a very important party. Weird people cannot come in. You have to have manners. Do you want to come in? Why don't you look at yourself in the mirror first? Marguerite was always dressed nicely. Huh? Do you want to see her? Then let her in. No, we can't. You can't wear that thing to a party. Hehe. <laughs> at least change out of the ugly dress. Small sm smattering of footsteps. So I need to change my clothes? Okay, hold on a minute. Can I go into Marguerite's room? Oh wait, is this the room? This is the room that had that sign. <laughs> this music though. What are these doors? 
I'm not touching these mice. I need to find a picture frame too, I think. For a little brother. At least I thought. In the picture, the Holy Mary was holding a baby who only had a body and no head. What was that? <gasps> a head made from plaster. That's fucked up. Every time I use an item, the cat freaks the fuck out. An old book that was bound exquisitely with care. These misspellings, what the fuck? Like, they're intentional, it seems like it. Grounded today. May be grounded all winter. Mother is very angry. October 28th. Sybil comes every day. It's not necessary, but it seems that brother asked Sybil to do this. October. Oh. Huh? Halloween. It started snowing rather early this year. So keep snowing and just bury this place. November. Successfully ventured outside. Heart still pounding, but need to clear off the snow by the window first and hide the clothes worn inside. I slipped out through the hole in the fence this dawn. The streets were already white, completely different from how they were last month. Frost covered everything and every snowflake hummed a happy song. Heinrich is waiting for me by the window. Does he have hooves? I need to know this. Because I did see something at a window. Oh, that's it. This is... Whose diary? Marguerite. <sighs> Fuck. The voice behind her had come out of nowhere. The black cat was fast, faster to react and vanished with a soft hump. <laughs> It took a while for the word to register as Elizabeth was so busy escaping from those white locks. Marguerite. Eh. Mothers. Elizabeth took extents at it. Why are you looking at me that way? I'm not the one going through people's diaries. The demon's lip curled, bellying its innocent tones. My mother lived here? Elizabeth asked. Oh, was she, she was your mother? The demon paced around her slowly, staring at her fixedly like a reptile. What do you think? This room is pretty nice, right? Your room is on the other side. It's also very pretty. Why don't you just stay here and live? And live here? The coiling voice filled her ears, and then suddenly just faded into darkness. And that cat ran away? Shit. Oh, I found some chocolate, though. Calm my nerves. This music. An exquisite volume was placed in the crack. Oh, there's more. Sybil gave me a letter from my brother. Uh, November 5th, the snow has piled up outside the window. The imps passed by the window, but ran away when they saw me. They got imps on this fucking property? Shit. I can't... I can't play the piano properly anymore. The sounds all form the same melody, but everyone keeps encouraging me to continue. I get scolded if I miss even one day. They say this helps me because I talk more often now, and sometimes even smile when it's sunny. But I know that isn't the case. It's Heinrich's voice calling out to me in the sunlight. Uh, it's his voice singing an ode to the flowers instead of the piano. Melody plays in my head whenever I think of him. November 7th. November 8th. We met in the night. This must be the gift from God. Even now, my heart feels as if I spark. If a spark had been set so too long dried out, kindling. Kindly. If, what if I burn up? It seems as if I'd seen his face in my dreams a long, long time ago, even though we've only seen each other a few times. I could still feel the weight of his eyes on me, even when I close my eyes. He said he can take me away from here. As long as I have you, 
I don't care where I am, Marguerite. A key with a wooden handle was stuck at the bottom of the book. Wooden handle key. Okay. Good. Huh. Got more matches. It's always just one match. A landscape photo, seaside scenery. The reflection on my face uh, and a stern expression. A cabinet made of road wood, it was locked. Hmm. No. There we go. Yeah, I need a dress. Formal dress. Some items can be worn after obtaining them. Only one can be worn at a time. No shit. Unless you want to be Anne from Persona 5 and wear a bunch of fucking outfits. Change it to the dress. What? Oh. The dress comes with a new hairstyle, too. Lucky me. Piece of paper on the ground. And here is an exquisitely bound book. Uh, November 11th. Mother is angry. A f uh, four bade me to see him. <laughs> Why? I think the word they were trying to say was forbid, but alright. Her eyes were as cold as the north wind. She didn't say a word. Why? 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 Number 12. The window has been locked from outside. The imps run around inside because they can't get out. Ugh. I'm just imagining imps. I'm like, it's, they're ill. Someone opened the door when I was playing the piano and nobody, no one was there when I turned back. I ran away from the piano in terror. I will never touch it again. November 14th. It hasn't stopped snowing for a month. Heavy snow drifts have accumulated on the window, and the panes are freezing. The imps create a ruckus uh, in the house when the night falls. November 15th, 16th. I don't want to write anymore, but Mother says keeping a diary is good. Why? Why? Do you know why? I... No. Sprouted. Number 20th, this is my home. It's on a hill facing the sun. They built a large greenhouse next to the house and filled it with a red garden red, with red garden cosmos flowers that bloom every October. It's a pity they're stuck in a flower bed. Wouldn't it be nice if they were free to form a sea of flowers on the grassy plain? But surely they're dead by now. The wind and snow are so big the sun can't be seen. November 21st. This is my home. It's on the hill facing the sun. There's a greenhouse. Uh, it's the same thing. My home. On the hill facing the sun. There's a greenhouse. Red flowers. On a hill. October. Peru. Can't see the sun. Must all be dead. Can't see the sun. I can't see the sun. I can't praise it anymore. The sun. Okay, you're you've you've been deprived and you're just locked in this room and now you're losing it. Ugh. Imps ran into the kitchen. There's broken plates all over the floor. Are you are you mistaking the imps for mice? For the mice in the kitchen. Good god. Good god, man. All right, let's save again. And yeah, let's head to that room that we need to address.